So the Nexus 6P has been out for about three months now and I've had the privilege of owning it for about that time period. And I just want to use this opportunity to discuss with you guys how the Nexus 6P has held up over those three months. Now like what you would expect for a Nexus device, the software is super quick, the fingerprint scanner works without a hitch, everything is buttery smooth, and we do have the latest update to Android Marshmallow 6.0. 0.1. Now, that being said, the software on the Nexus device is its strong suit, so the really big thing we want to focus on is the hardware. How the Nexus 6P has held up over time is very important. When this device first came out, there were tons of, you know, speculation about it bending. Fortunately, mine isn't really bent at all, so that's a good thing, but there are a few cosmetic um, I wouldn't say issues, just blemishes that have come up, and I want to point those out to you. First, I want to point out that the visor right here seems to be more prone to scratching than the front glass, which is good. The front, I mean, there isn't really much to see. Under normal lighting, I can't find a single scratch on it, which is great, but the back visor, you can certainly see a few things here and there. One thing I want to point out, and this has been since day one, the power button isn't as tactile as it was on the Nexus 6, the original Nexus 6. And why I think that's very important because you double tap the power button to pull up the camera. So that's very nice, but it's just not, it doesn't stick out as much. And the Nexus 6, the original one, it just clicks a lot easier. And as far as, you know, the build quality issues that I've had with this device so far, the back is a little prone to scratching. Um, there's a little bit right here. And there's a dent right underneath the fingerprint scanner. Like, I can actually uh, put my finger on it and feel it a little bit. I mean, it's not noticeable that often. And in, in certain lighting, it's more noticeable than others. But I just wanted to point that out. So I assume that Huawei didn't design this with the strongest materials they could. I have been watching a YouTuber, Jerry Rig Everything. He you know, was the one that did the initial Ben test video. And he has basically just opened up this guy to show you the build quality inside. And it's not all metal. There's a little bit of plastic. So I find that video kind of interesting and I'll link to that in the description below. One thing I appreciate about the Nexus 6P is that the, the logo on the back is basically like laser etched so it's not really going to come off. I mean there may be a little bit of scratching and wear over time but it's not going to be anything like my Nexus 6. <laughs> the little pieces come off that of the logo and like this E right here. <gasps> I dropped it. The E just came like right off. And it's just starting to look gross. You can see like the glue in it. So I need to get some type of, uh, you know, wrap for it to cover that up. But overall, in comparison, the Nexus 6, it is scratching a lot, but you can't really see it at all. So in conclusion, I'd say the Nexus 6P is a great device. It may not have the best build quality on the market, but the price isn't up there with the big dogs either. So Huawei had to make a few compromises here and there. The software is top notch, the specs are top notch. It's just the hardware that could use a little bit of improvement. But if they charge $200 more, do you think people would pay for it if it meant an unbendable phone, unscratchable back, unscratchable glass visor, stuff like that. They just had to make make a compromise here and there. And I think if you're good, you know, if you're if you baby your phone, if you don't drop it a lot, I've never dropped this device. Um, and just don't sit on it. And that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions about how my Nexus 6P is holding up, be sure just to drop me a comment in the comment section below. And that's it, I'll see you next time. Bye. The fingerprint scanner works without a hitch. Without a hitch. Without a hitch.